Mexico's peso has been crashing against the dollar, and that's not a good thing. And when I say crashing, I mean they have lost all the gains that they've made since the beginning of 2023. The reason why is their most recent election of President Claudia Scheinbaum. They're strong leftists, and it looks like their policies are going to contravene against a lot of U.S. interests. Some people are going to tell you, oh no, it's because the dollar got so strong. No, that's a crock of malarkey. Compare the value of the Mexican peso up here to the strength of the dollar as measured by the DXY. Right now, the strength of the dollar is at 103. When we were at 105 or even higher last year, the Mexican peso was still at least 5.5 cents or higher. Before Scheinbaum got elected, we had a strong dollar and they had an even stronger peso. So what about her has investors so spooked? She's going to carry out 20 constitutional reforms that the former president, we call him AMLO, have laid out. Some of them are pretty good. Look, guarantee that annual minimum salary increases outpace inflation. We should have that here. Overhaul the pension system so retired workers receive 100% of their final salaries as a pension. I mean, Wow. But the one that has everyone in a hubbub is allow citizens to directly elect Supreme Court justices and other judges. The masses like it, but the elites don't in Mexico and over here. Sadly, I get it. The masses consistently vote against their interests. Look at what we're doing in America for their GOP candidate. Masses can be swayed by interested third parties to vote for a particular justice who may be very easy on certain crimes or other bad things. Because of this, Mexico's economy and currency is losing a lot of speculation in the positive. There's also the threat of president President Trump throwing a 200% tariff at all Mexican vehicle exports to the United States. That's a bad thing because 84% of Mexico's exports go to the United States. That kind of tariff would crush their economy and we need a strong Mexican economy to make sure we can stay stable. In this year alone, which hasn't finished, 79% of every Mexican vehicle made has gone to the United States. Nine years ago, it was predicted that Mexico's auto production will be one quarter of the North American car market and now it's about 27. And my guess is we are not gonna have a clear picture as to what's gonna happen in Mexico until after America's election on November 5th. But one thing I can say with confidence is if Mexican vehicle exports to the United States get tariffed up to 200%, that is going to harm the American consumer like we haven't seen in decades. Because one quarter of our automobile manufacturing is from Mexico. Either way, I feel bad because I was really hoping that Mexico could start dictating terms to America with a stronger economy.